Welcome back to Mirror Talk, the podcast where we delve into the intriguing ideas that shape our understanding of the world. I'm your host, Rachel, and today we're exploring a fascinating concept known as Gilbert's Law. Now, before we dive in, let's take a moment to think about those times when you found yourself buried under a mountain of tasks, each one seemingly more urgent than the last. You know, that feeling when your to-do list just keeps growing, and no matter how much you do, it feels like you're not making any real progress. If this sounds familiar, then you're already well acquainted with the spirit of Gilbert's Law, even if you didn't know it by name. Gilbert's Law states that anything that can be postponed will be. It's a humorous, yet profoundly true observation about human behavior and our tendency to procrastinate, especially when we're faced with a plethora of tasks. To really grasp the essence of Gilbert's law, let's take a closer look at its origins. This law is named after the British cartoonist and satirist W.J. Gilbert, who was keenly observant of human nature. His wit and insight gave us this law, which encapsulates the all-too-familiar habit of pushing things off until later, often until the very last possible moment. Now, why do we do this? Why do we delay tasks that we know need to be done? It turns out, there are several reasons. For one, our brains are wired to seek pleasure and avoid pain. Many tasks, especially those we find boring or difficult, can feel like mental or emotional pain. By postponing them, we're essentially opting for immediate comfort. But as we all know, this short-term comfort often leads to long-term stress. One of the most enlightening ways to understand Gilbert's Law is through our own stories and experiences. I remember a time when I was working on a major project for work. It was something I was passionate about, but it was also incredibly complex and required a lot of detailed research. Each day, I'd look at my list of things to do and think, I'll start this first thing tomorrow. Well, tomorrow turned into next week, and next week turned into a month later. Before I knew it, the deadline was looming over me like a storm cloud. In those frantic last days, as I scrambled to pull everything together, I realized something crucial. It wasn't that I lacked the ability or resources to complete the project. I had those in spades. It was the sheer weight of starting that had held me back. The task felt so large and so daunting that I kept putting it off in favor of easier, less intimidating tasks. So, what can we do to combat the effects of Gilbert's Law in our own lives? Here are a few strategies that might help. 1. Break it down. Large tasks can feel overwhelming. Breaking them down into smaller, manageable pieces can make a world of difference. Instead of writing finish project on your to-do list, try research first topic, draft outline, or write introduction. Two, set specific deadlines. Often, our to-do lists are full of tasks without clear deadlines. By assigning specific dates and times to each task, we create a sense of urgency that can propel us into action. Three, use the two minute rule. If a task will take two minutes or less, do it immediately. This can help clear away the small, nagging tasks that clutter our minds and our to-do lists. Four, create a routine. Consistency is key. Setting aside a specific time each day to work on your most important tasks can help make progress feel more natural and less forced. Five, accountability. Share your goals with someone else. Sometimes, just knowing that someone else is aware of what you need to do can be a powerful motivator. Remember, it's natural to procrastinate sometimes. We're all human, and we all have those moments. But by recognizing the patterns and taking steps to address them, we can overcome the inertia that Gilbert's Law so humorously highlights. To wrap up today's episode, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on your own habits. Think about that one task you've been putting off. What's one small step you can take today to start moving it forward? And hey, Feel free to share your thoughts and progress with us on social media or in the comments section. We're all in this together. That's all for today's episode of Mirror Talk. 
Thank you for joining me as we explored Gilbert's Law. I hope you found it insightful and maybe even a bit motivating. Until next time, I'm Rachel, reminding you to take that first step, no matter how small. Have a wonderful day and remember, you've got this. Hey there, podcast enthusiasts. Are you ready to add a little sparkle to your day? If you're loving the insightful conversations and captivating stories on Mirror Talk Podcast, here's a friendly nudge to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on the empowering messages and thought-provoking discussions we bring to your ears. But wait, there's more. We're all about spreading positivity and inspiration, and you can be a part of it too. How? by sharing the love with your friends and family. Share this episode with your loved ones and let's create a ripple effect of empowerment and growth together. And hey, if you've been enjoying what you hear, why not take a moment to leave us a glowing five-star review? Your feedback fuels our passion to keep delivering content that resonates with you. So hit that subscribe button, share the love, and leave us a review. Let's keep the conversation going and spread the mirror talk magic far and wide. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, your support means the world to us. Wow, wow. you made it to the very end of this episode. Thank you so much for listening. I'm grateful for your time, your love, and your contributions. Subscribe, like, review, and share this podcast. God bless you. Bye. Bye.